Hello, my name is Gina and I'd like to take a moment to orient you to the Healthy Teen Network Compass, www.learn.healthyteennetwork.org. This is our e-learning platform to support distance learning. In the Compass, you can participate in courses that will build your capacity to promote the health and well-being of adolescents and young adults. Once on the Compass homepage, you will log in using your username and password. If at any time you forget your username or password, you can always select the Help with Login link to have those reset. Once logged in, you'll be rerouted back to the Compass homepage. First on this page, you will see introductory information about Healthy Teen Network, and then below that you will see any information about courses in which you are enrolled. You can see here that I'm enrolled in the Teacher's Guide to the Fundamentals of Sexual Health Education. We will come back to this course shortly. Below any course enrollment information, you will see up-to-date news about Healthy Teen Network, here we have some information about our upcoming conference, and below that you'll see the calendar and activity stream. At the bottom of the Compass homepage, you will see our footer. This gray footer box will repeat on every page throughout the Compass and has links to helpful resources and services, information about membership, and how to submit a request for customized capacity building assistance. If at any time, throughout your coursework, you want to return to the home page, you can always click on the Healthy Teen Network logo at the top left of your screen. In the top right of my screen, you'll notice a circle with my photo in it. If you haven't uploaded a photo yet, you will see the gray profile of an anonymous person. Click on this circle to view the menu. Here, you can also access any course in which you are enrolled, see upcoming deadlines, view any alerts, and check your grades. From this page, when I click on my photo or my name, I can see my profile and I can edit these profile settings. I would just update any information I wanted to update here and make sure that I select at the bottom, update profile. I can also manage my preferences for notifications. If I select preferences, and then I can choose forum preferences and indicate how often I want to be updated and I can also select messaging and change those notification settings here. Going back to the menu, I'm just hitting the back button on my browser. If I want to exit, exit out of that menu, I just hit the close button and that will bring me back to the Compass homepage. You don't need to adjust any of those profile or preference settings, but those options are available to you should you choose to do so. Now that we've explored the Compass homepage, let's take a look at a sample course. I'm going to scroll down on my homepage to my courses, and I'm going to select the title of the course, The Teacher's Guide to the Fundamentals of Sexual Health Education. Now that I'm in the course, we'll take a tour. At the top, you see the title of the course. And in the white box here, you see the table of contents with each topic contained in this course. This white box will appear on every page of the course as a course header. Every course will have an introduction, and below you will see other topics. In this case, the first topic is puberty and reproduction, and the second topic is preventing pregnancy and infection, the basics of keeping safe. You can navigate among these topics by clicking in the table of contents at the top. Right here, I would just click on those links or you may scroll down and move through them in order. Here we have the introduction section first. It's got some information about the course, an introduction to Alex Eisler, our trainer. Um, and then I can also click on this box here. It's one of the ways that we share activities and I can view more information about Alex through her bio. This is a link. It's actually gonna take me to an external site, the healthyteennetwork.org site and Alex's bio. I can just close out of that window and that brings me back to my window with the course. I can scroll down to navigate and hit next section to go to puberty in reproduction or again I could have selected puberty in reproduction from that white table of contents box in the top. While in the course, if at any time you want to navigate back to the course homepage, you can use the breadcrumb trail at the top of the page. 
home will take me to the main Compass homepage, same as that logo up top. And then the abbreviated course title here, SHE 101, will take me to the course specific homepage. Within the course sections here, Puberty and Reproduction, you will find the activities and resources provided as part of the course. Scrolling down a little bit. Anytime you see boxes like these, this orange box right here, these are part of the course materials. These activities might include handouts, such as Word documents or PDFs, interactive modules that contain games and other content, quizzes, video clips, surveys, chat rooms, and other files. Click on these to open them. Depending on the, what the file is, you might click on it and then follow the directions to access the materials. For example, if I want to access the interactive content in this module, this orange box, I will click on it. And then I will see the number of attempts I'm allowed, unlimited, the number of previous attempts I've made, one, any grading information as well. I will click Enter to begin the interactive module. Now, the interactive module should launch automatically, but if it is not launching, you may need to use the Launch button at the bottom of your screen. Also, if this is your first time accessing an interactive module, it's possible you may receive a pop-up warning from your internet browser, and you will need to allow pop-ups on the www.learn.healthytnetwork.org site to access all the content. Now, I'm in the interactive module, and I'm free to move through the content. I'm going to click the Next button here. I'm going to type in my name, and then I'm going to hit no, Let's Get Started. From here, I can take a tour. There's going to be another tutorial on using the interactive content here. And I can select topics and go through the course. Now, I am not going to go through the inter entire interactive module right now. But when I am done with the interactive module, I will click Exit Course in the top right. Once back in the course platform, I will also need to click Exit Activity. This will allow the platform to know where I have left off. This is especially important for showing I have completed the course. Even if I finish the activity, I will need to follow these steps to ensure that it is recorded properly. To recap, when I am in an interactive module, I will launch it. I will hit Enter. It should launch automatically. I will go through and I will hit Next and I will interact with the course material. And when I'm done going through the course material or I need to pause, I will hit Exit Course and I will hit Exit Activity. Looking back to the course table of contents, in each topic you will see a subline that shows progress and the number of activities you have completed out of the total number of activities provided. For activities that require you to actively complete them, like interactive modules, there will be a gray exclamation point. Note that you may have to scroll down in that orange box to see that gray exclamation point in the circle icon. You can also hover over it and there'll be some help text that appears that lets you know the completion status. Activities that do not require completion, like opening articles, note-taking guides, or other materials, you will see a yellow checkbox that will change color if you click or unclick it. And again, I can hover over it and see the status. Completed activities will show the green star. And I'm going to go back to Alex's bio on the first page to show you that green star. There we go. Going back up to the table of contents, course tools provide you with some additional options. For courses in which this feature is enabled, you may be able to view the profiles of your fellow participants. Depending on course specific settings, you may be able to view grades or to see badges, which are recognitions of achievements. This brings our tour of the Compass to a close. If at any time you need support using the Compass, please do not hesitate to contact us. Use the easy link to contact info at healthyteennetwork.org in your footer, and we'd be happy to help. 
We are very excited that you're joining us to better support and empower young people through our e-learning platform, The Compass. Thank you.